So Amazon is sending warnings to millions and millions of Americans. But why? Why would Amazon give you a warning? Well, it's because you are broke. You don't have this anymore. What we have seen over the past couple years, prices continue to go up. These are on for real estate, this is for cars, this is for food and vacations and gas and everything in between. But we are now seeing a very clear picture as to what the future looks like. And it looks like the American people don't have money for wants. All they have money for is needs. And even at that, it is just the bare necessities. So I'm gonna break down what's going on and the troubles that we are about to face in the near future. So make sure you stick around and watch this entire video. But all I ask is one thing, it takes two seconds, go ahead, hit that like button if you enjoy these daily updates. And now let's begin. So Amazon is sending a very clear picture and they are warning the American people that things are going to get difficult and times will be tough. Just look at this. The concern right now is that the jobs report that came out yesterday, it stokes fears that the Federal Reserve may have waited too long to lower interest rates, that they kept rates at a high level for far too long because they were trying to fight inflation. Inflation is what has been taking your money. Here's the problem. Now businesses are struggling. Businesses needed this rate cut many months ago. They didn't get it. Now they're struggling. Now they can't grow. This is exactly what Amazon has been saying. But Amazon, look at this. Just the other day, Amazon's stock flashes this downtrend warning for the first time in over a year. And the reason for this is because Amazon fell yesterday by almost 9%, tumbled, or by, uh, tumbled by uh, 10, 11% during uh, uh, trading. This is a six month low because of the disappointing second quarter report. Now, here's why this is so important. When you're shopping for a new pair of shoes, where do you go? Do you go to Walmart? Do you go to Target? Do you go to uh, some outlet store? What about when you go and buy a new uh, you know, set of sponges for your kitchen sink? Or you want a new vacuum cleaner? Or you want something like some special spaghetti? Do you go and get it at Walmart, Target, Costco? Most people have been getting their items from Amazon. People receive about two packages a week at their doorstep. In most cases, they're from Amazon. Amazon saying people aren't buying because they don't have this. They are broke. Now, here's why this is turning into a big issue. If Amazon is seeing that people aren't buying and that they're broke, guess what? Walmart is going to see the same thing. Target is going to see the same thing. Costco will see the same thing. Kohl's, Big Lots, they're all going to see the exact same thing. We've already heard that Big Lots is potentially going to go out of business. Big Lots could go bankrupt here this year. We have been hearing from many retailers that they're shutting down. But here's the big thing. And, and you're probably thinking, well, I don't, I don't work at Walmart or Big Lots. Why would I care if they shut down? Well, here's the reason why it's important. Let's say you work at Walmart. And no, they're not you know, laying millions of people off. They are not shutting down thousands of stores. Only a, only a small fraction of stores are being shut down. Here's the reason why this is important. Let's say you work at Target, right? Decent place to work. What happens when big lots in your city decides to go under? What happens to all those employees that work at big lots? Do you think they just automatically decide, you know what, retail isn't for me, I'm out. No, they go to the next retail store. Walmart, right? Target, Costco, that's where they're going to go. So now you have more competition for your job. If you have more competition, guess what? Your employer is looking at it as, well, we don't need to give this guy an extra $2 an hour when we can hire this new person for less than what you are making today. So they can save 
two, three, four, five dollars an hour by hiring somebody new that's just coming in. Right? It's gonna save them money, which means at the end of the day, the business is gonna make more. Right? They're gonna be more profitable. And for an investor like me, somebody that's just looking from the outside in, right? I want to make sure that my investment is being taken care of. As a as a you know shareholder, I want to make sure that I'm getting something in return. Right? That's what we're looking at. Now here's the other thing. And this is one of the reasons why this is scary. This is why Amazon's sending this warning to all Americans is that if they are struggling and Walmart's going to be struggling and Target will be struggling, guess what's going to happen? Not only are they going to look at other ways to lower their costs, they could also bring in more employees, more newer employees, and they will lower your hours. So you're probably thinking, well, it's not a big deal because I've been working here for 15 years. I'm not going anywhere. That may be true, but they may look at you as more of a as a kind of mentor and they're gonna give you a mentorship role where you need to go and mentor this young group of kids so that they can come up and they can work there for 15 years so they'll instead of you working 40 hours a week maybe 34 35 all right i think it's like 34.4 hours is the the average work week right now in the united states think about that you lose five and a half hours every single week so you lose what 22 hours a month Right? Let's say you're making $10 an hour, that's $220. Making $20 an hour, that's $440 that you lost just that month. Yeah, that's big. So I will leave you with that. Just understand right now that Amazon's sending this warning and it's because they know what's, com know what's coming and they know what has happened to them. And is that the American people don't have money anymore. They are struggling. But let me ask you this. What was the last thing you purchased from Amazon? And why did you purchase it? Okay, I'll tell you mine. The last thing that I purchased from Amazon was a pair of shorts, okay? It was a pair of shorts. Now, these same shorts were, um, I think they're being sold at, uh, I think it was like Burlington, which Burlington sells discounted clothing. Well. Burlington was selling it for $19.99 or seven or something like that, right? $20. On Amazon, they're selling for 16 something. So I bought them off Amazon. Guess what? I sent them back. I didn't like them, I sent them back. The last thing I bought from Burlington, I bought it, it didn't fit. But I didn't send it back because I haven't been back to Burlington, right? That's the issue. <laughs> And so this is one of the reasons why Amazon is getting more sales than other retailers is because it's easy. I can simply put it in the mail and it'll be sent back to Amazon. I don't have to worry about it. Not like if I buy it from a retail store where I gotta go back to the store and get my get a take my receipt and get a refund. So that's just my experience. But let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. But that is what we know as of today. So again, thank you guys for watching consider subscribing and I'll see you guys on the next one.